Keith, Cage's Garage, where uh, I just purchased a new Prius. You saw the other one. We needed. I wanted to get another Prius, uh, and I want to test this battery. So I downloaded this app called Dr. Prius, and oh, you need to buy a little Bluetooth adapter. This is a pan long. OBD2 diagnostic, diagnostic scanner for Android. And I also have one for the uh, iPhone. So you just take this, it just plugs right into the, the port underneath here. It just plugs into the port right there. First thing you need to do is go into your Bluetooth and see if you if uh, OBD2 shows up. It does. You can click on it. It's not going to connect. It's not going to do anything. And then you go into your app, Dr. Prius. And then you see ODB2 right here. You can if it, if you don't see it shows up, you can um, hit refresh. But there's all this other stuff in here. My watch and and, and anyway, you hit OD, OBD2. And it connects and so this is the battery monitor this is the first thing you see and I already could tell that looks like a problem right there these batteries should be all about the same voltage um, what are they at like 15 something 15 2 that one's at 15 6 anyway this just gives you a a little bit of you. I'm not a. I'm not. I'm not a professional on using this yet. I don't know how everything works, but anyway. Um, and then you can go here and go full battery test. Please accelerate hard, then decelerate okay. hard in a safe manner to complete the test. So that wants me to accelerate hard and decelerate hard to complete the test. So let's go for a ride. Hope you can still see it. We're at 61%. So I'm just gonna go down here on this road, this safe road. It's pretty much like a major highway. And uh, it's not that much traffic. I should be able to do this test without a problem. Accelerate hard, huh? I don't know how hard they want me to accelerate, but... <sighs> Alright, here we go. Accelerate. I'm looking behind me. And let's decelerate. Test has completed. Okay. The car requires attention. And the car requires attention. Alright, let's... Hang a Huey here. No error found, weak batteries detected, block one and two, battery running warm, okay. Poor balance block one and two, poor balance block number three. So I'm not, so I'm not a previous expert, just showing how this thing works. And I already kind of knew that this car needed a battery. Um, you have the other car. Which I could just switch the battery out. This car has 90, let's say 93,000 miles on it. So if it needs the battery out of the other car, I think we'll be fine. This is probably the original battery. And it's a 2008 car. So it's, uh, it's over 10 years old. 10 to 15 years is the life of these batteries. So um, it might be time. One more test we're gonna do on here. Park the car and do some stuff. And the next test take it takes a little while, so let me park back in a parking spot. Alright, let's see. All right, so I'm gonna do save and close. I'm gonna put this car in park. All right, so what do we got here? It says 
no error codes, internal resistance, war warning, re weak batteries, block one and two, the batteries running warm, low tests, low testing, upper voltage, poor balance, low testing, bottom voltage, um, poor balance on three. So one, two, and three blocks are, looks like they're bad. All right, let's go to life expectancy. Step one, there we go. please warm up and park the car. I did. Put gear in drive. All right, then put in drive. Both the brake and gas pedal all the way down. All this right. will charge up the battery in about one minute. All right, so brake and gas and flooring it. You can hear it, but that's the battery right there. It says here charging score 34. some other stuff going on down there battery's going it's charging there's a uh, another bar showed up yep there's another one so it's almost there I don't know what we have to do next they're saying pack voltage is 260 the car is like revving down now I don't know what that means I don't have, there's no RPM meet, so I don't know what the RPM is. Okay. Step two, release, release gas, gas pedal. Put gear in reverse. Turn okay. on headlight and AC to drain electricity from the battery. Your goal is to keep the needle within the green area. Okay. Step so, three, please keep the needle within the green area. Battery is, oh, I know why, it wants you to put it in reverse to turn the backup lights on. Uh, this thing's going to beep the whole time, I think. So keep this needle in the green, which it is. Oh, let me turn the headlights on. Let's see. Uh, headlights are on. Whoop, too much. Okay. I guess that's in the green area. Oh, and it's going to take uh, 856 seconds. So I'm going to put it in park. So I don't want to hear it beeping anymore. And let's see if it's staying in the green. So, and I have my foot on the brake. So that's putting the brake lights on. So that's probably fine. So let's see, 230 for the pack voltage. So state of charge, 65%. So what we're trying to do is run down the battery. So we charge it all the way up, and now we're trying to drain it down, and it's gonna see, I guess, how much time that takes. I don't know. Alright, I took I just took my foot off the brake because I don't have to hold it here for whatever 780 seconds is. So the battery went down two bars. I'm guessing it's either this many seconds or until the battery's dead. It's good reflection, huh? Instead of just sitting here watching this thing, I'll be back. Okay, so we got down to two bars. It's weird because last time I looked up, it was at four. Now I dropped down to two bars real quick. But this came back and said, Dr. Hybrid Certificate of Complete Life Expectancy. Uh, battery pack has estimated 59% capacity left and it's in fair condition. Which, uh, oh, I don't know what happened there. Um, which seems weird because there's some bad, there's some bad banks, but the battery's still okay, fair condition. I don't know. Uh, step one, please. Hold I don't know. I went back. 
I thought I'd go back. Uh, so that's that's that. Let's go to quiet. Um, special features. Read battery errors. There's gonna be none. There's nothing. Read engine. Oh, you can also do engine codes. No EC engine codes. So that's good. Uh, disable traction control. I don't know why you want to do that. Maintenance. This will keep the engine running. Click this when car is not in ready. Turn car off to reset. Okay. Uh, override battery temperature. I don't think I want to do that. And disable reverse beep. Disable seatbelt beep. Don't care about that. And that's about it. So. I don't really know if I need to change this battery out. I'm going to try to get the other car to power on. And see what I can't do. I can't get the other car to start. So I can't do these tests. I might be able to do the first test. Where it, um, it shows the batteries to see. What, 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 I'm, what I'm trying to do is get to see what condition that other battery is in. The other car. Anyway. Alrighty. Thanks for watching. Hopefully this uh, helps somebody with... Uh, Dr. Prius and trying to determine if your battery is bad and what you should look for. Um, I know I've looked at other Priuses and all the green bars were on top. So I think those other batteries were probably in better shape. But and we bought this one because it has low mileage on it and it's in pretty decent shape. The interior is in okay shape. I mean, it's for what it is, it's in great shape. I looked at other ones that needed a whole bunch of work and all different states of repair, rust and this and that. This was one of the nicer ones that I found. I don't have to replace the screen. The only other thing is, I think the camera's shot. It looks like it's, I don't know. No, that's not, that's not what this video is about. All right, well, thanks a lot, thanks a lot for watching. Hope this uh, helps somebody with this with this app and to determine if your Prius battery is bad. Uh, I would, if you're look, going to look at Priuses, download this app and pay for it and get. And I think it was like thirty dollars. You can do as many cars as you want, or as a cheaper version where I think you only do one car. So I did the it's like shop version. I think it said and I could scan as many Priuses as you want. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. I'll catch you next video. Um, if you if you if you think this video will help somebody please share it with them and like and subscribe i'd, I'd appreciate it that helps out with the algorithms and all that kind of stuff all righty see you guys later bye